Our first guest comes straight to us from her fifth title at the Australian Open. Just in case you don't believe me, here she is winning the final point of the match. She's the number one ranked tennis player in the world and the winner of 12 Grand Slam events. Please say hello to Serena Williams. You oh, returned a champion here. once again. Yes. You yes. must love playing in Australia. I think I do. I, I always say I think it's something in the water. You do? Do you really? Yeah, I really do because I, I do well down there. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. What's the worst country to play in? Um, <laughs> gosh, you know what? I, uh, I India, but only because India. Really? only because I I felt bad because they had us in this really super nice hotel, and then right out of the hotel, everyone was was it was really poor, and I just felt like oh my. Gosh, I, I felt terrible staying there when right outside it was such bad conditions, and I just felt horrible. I don't blame you. Yeah. But you're, you're doing actually. Well, I want to mention because one of the things that you got criticized for, but I thought was just the greatest thing, is when you threatened to shove a ball down <laughs> the <laughs> line. Like judges. I loved it. I love that stuff because yeah. you know tennis can get, it can be boring. It's so courteous a lot. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it is. It is cur It is very courteous, and you know I don't think I was so courteous at the time. No, you weren't that courteous. But, uh, <laughs> but you were really, but you know, like John McEnroe used to do that. Right. I loved that when I was yeah. a kid watching him play. Yeah, I, I love John McEnroe too. He's I well, used obviously, to grow up. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> uh, when I when I was growing up, I always you know watched him play. But you know, you got to find how much money for that. I got to find ninety two thousand dollars. I think it's the most anyone's ever been fined. I think which that is, uh, yeah, it's crazy. But I yeah. think you would probably get fined less for actually shoving a ball <laughs> down someone's throat. Yeah. Just... I think so. I think, yeah. But you know what? I turned that around and because I asked him, well, I said, if I'm getting fine, can I donate some of this money to my charities, you know, with um, my school in Africa and um, also the stuff that I do here in the United States? And they were like, no. And I was like, oh, really? I was like, wow. Okay. So what I decided to do, I started a 92K mission. So um, what I do now is I'm, I'm um, trying to get $92,000 to donate to my school in Africa, obviously to Haiti because of the horrible thing that happened there, as well as to my foundation. So, yeah, so you turned a, uh, a, you made a, a negative into a positive. Yeah, and if, you know, I like to think if I had never have done that, then these people wouldn't be getting help and be That's getting right. money. So and one day maybe they it was will for grow a reason. <laughs> and they will shove tennis balls down. <laughs> And you're also but I on, didn't do it. You're also on probation, um, on tennis probation? Yeah, I've never even heard of that. Is there a tennis probation I, officer? I, apparently. How does I that guess, work? I have to check in every week. I have to call in, you know. I have to be like, you know, I'm here right now, you know. Uh, can yeah. I leave? That's very, so, very yeah. silly. Well, I mean, really, just some words. It's crazy that it, yeah. it comes to that. Now, yeah. I heard you met Prince William while I you're did, in Australia. I did, in Australia. You know, that was way better than winning the Australian Open. Was it really? Yeah. Really? I was so nervous because... Um, um, I had played a match that day, and then right after the match, they're like, oh, you know, by the way, Prince William's here, and, you know, you, he would love to meet you, and I was like, oh, my gosh, and so, I, you know, when you meet the prince, you have to, like, wear a dress or, like, some type of fabulous, and I just had my warm-up suit on, I was like, oh, my gosh, what am I going to do, and I was a little late meeting the prince, as I, <laughs> I was blow-drying my hair, and, you know, I was getting really? myself together, yeah. Did but, you have to curtsy, do you have to curtsy to the prince? Well, you know, I told him I was American, and I'm like, you know, we don't, he we're probably not, knows. We're not really proper. <laughs> He's probably read the papers. <laughs> I was like, you know, we're not real proper and prim <laughs> like you all might. Right. But um, he was he was totally fine with it. He said he was so cool. He he was totally down to earth, which I really really liked. And you know, I we joked. I was like, I, am I your favorite tennis player? And he was like, well, I kind of like Venus. And I was like, well, uh, <laughs> really? I, I was like, well, I kind of like Harry. <laughs> <laughs> <So>. <laughs> That would be a heck of a double date. He had such a great sense of humor. I really, really enjoyed it. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and I heard, is is it true that a heckler? It inspired you, if maybe that's, there's a better word, to, to win the Open? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. When I was playing in the final, this guy yelled, it was in the third set, I had lost like 20, 30 points in a row, I started playing bad, and this guy's like, come on, Justine, she's not that good. And I looked at that guy, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't lose any games after uh, that. Oh, <laughs> really? Poor Justine. She, she incurred your wrath. 
So you are part owner of the Miami Dolphins, yes, yes. and the Super Bowl is being held in your city. So does yes. that make you kind of one of the hostesses of the Ab event? Yeah, absolutely. So me, my sister and I, we bought into the Miami Dolphins, so it's really cool. So we're kind of hosting the event, which is super cool, because I'm a huge football fan. Mm -hmm. And um, we decided that, you know, we're hosting a couple of things, you know, going to the owner's meeting. I'm going to be like... Oh, really? Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm like, hmm, I'm there. I'm one of the owners, so yes. Mm -hmm. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> You have to go to the owners' meeting. Yeah, That's all right. I know. I'm really. I'm, I'm trying to decide what to wear. Who do you? I'm, wor <laughs> I'm clearly worried about the wrong things. <laughs> who um, who do you think will win the Super Bowl? Honestly, I don't know. I think the Saints are doing so well. Oh. Yeah. But, but 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 I'm rooting wholeheartedly for the in the Colts. Oh, you are. <laughs> So, why, um, specific, why wholeheartedly for the Colts? Well, I'm, I've done a lot of work with Peyton, a couple commercials. He's super nice. I love Eli Manning, so mm -hmm. I'm a Manning fan, and, I, you know, so I'm going for the Colts all the way. Well, congratulations <laughs> on yet another. Do you get bored after a while winning all these? Uh, bored? These, no. I mean, do you get bored interviewing me? Not interviewing you, but <laughs> I do get bored easily. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations oh, to you again. So it's great much. to see you. Serena Thank Williams, you. everybody.